So, you begin with the stock. Press the button, slides away, wire, plug, the spring, the magazine, and last but not least, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Think? No, quite a bit. Only this is the bolt. The bolt will slide in. To there like that. Right now. Spring. Block. Magazine. Only eight parts. Eight parts. Very simple construction, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Triang made them. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, hello, people. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and it was two pounds seven six to make. Wow. And um, the lot was sent over um, uh, to the French. The French used them. Nine millimeter. The German MP40. Nine millimeter. You killed the German, and the, you had his ammo. But the MP40 was. Oh, it's a lot of money to make. Yeah. Exactly. So the Germans cottoned on to this. That's why they made the triple zero eight. The only difference is, is that that is there, and that was on the side. Yeah. You hold you that one like that. You that see, one like that. You see what they do, can't you? Yeah. <laughs> they copied it. <laughs> Same sort of thing again with that. There's a bolt action. Same number of parts. Right, this is the Mark V Sten gun, issued to the Airborne only. Uh, it was constructed between early 1944 and early 1945. There were 575,000 made of them, and then they stopped production. It was still being used by the British paratroopers in the Suez Crisis in the 50s. It's got a 32 round magazine. About 100 yards range, but you never fired at that range. It's only house clearance. Uh, this was the more expensive of the uh, Sten guns. This was made in, took 12 hours to make instead of the four hours that we usually made.